All right, so uh, apologies about the Northern Lights there. I was very disappointed not only because I was looking <laughs> a lot that night and over the course of the weekend didn't see anything, but I also was the one that told you to go look and we really didn't see much. More disappointing news from the weather department. Sorry, that's just how it is. Uh, pretty day, skies are clear. We still have some light in the sky. Well, this time next week, it will be dark as we fall back already coming up this weekend. Sorry folks, 38 degrees. The current temperature in Helena, the wind has been light and in Great Falls, literally freezing already. Boy, it was cold this morning, cold most of the day. At least we had the sunshine and not a lot of wind. 29 right now in Cut Bank. Most of the rest of the state temperatures are in the 30s. Light east wind for a lot of areas. Northwest winds very light for Helena and Bozeman. Now the wind will be picking up in a few spots tomorrow, like along the Rocky Mountain front and around the East Glacier area, which saw several inches of snow uh, through the morning into the afternoon on Saturday. So some of that snow may be blowing around right around Browning and Depuyer and Bynum and East Glacier, Badman, St. Mary, but the rest of the state not really looking at much wind tomorrow. The wind will pick up a bit more Heading into Wednesday, it's a downsloping west wind, a Chinook wind, so a lot of that snow, uh, even into the Bear Paw Mountains, sh should be melting as we go through the next few days. No snow anywhere close to the state, some rain and some higher elevation snow. That's a big area of some rain, right? Well, it's going to run into a very dry air mass in place here in Montana, and not much of anything will happen. Looking around the country, there's a minor system working through the Great Lakes and parts of the Midwest, but that's about it. So here comes some of that precipitation, rain and higher elevation snow, and there may be a snow shower into the Bitterroot Mountains, the Sapphires uh, down there around uh, Lost Trail. However, look at that just kind of fizzle out as we head into the morning hours. I think there'll be a few more clouds in the western part of the state on Tuesday afternoon, but central and eastern Montana, Another glorious sunny November day uh, here and then heading into Wednesday. A little in the way of some cloud cover, but that's about it. More bark than bite because it will be a dry day on Wednesday, becoming partly cloudy for just about everywhere again. So minor storm runs into this dry air and just kind of fizzles out. More of it goes down to our south. Wednesday is partly cloudy. Thursday night into Friday morning could have a little system come through with some rain, sh rain showers and higher elevation snow showers drying out by Friday afternoon. And we may have a few snow showers coming through in the mountains this weekend, but that's really it. And all the way into early next week, it's quiet. Maybe a little mix of some rain and snow coming in Tuesday of the following week. I mentioned slow for the snow to be building. There will be some snow into the Cascades, the Sierra again, way northwest Montana and Glacier National Park, but really nothing east of the Continental Divide anytime soon. Tonight, another chilly night, not as cold as it was, but we should be uh, generally in the teens and the 20s. Some of those normally colder spots in the mountains will likely dip down into the single digits. Here's the forecast tomorrow for Election Day. We'll have quiet weather. 40s and 50s, so a little warmer than today, a little more cloud cover in the western part of the state, but really no issues uh, with the weather for tomorrow unless you want the snow and you're not getting it. For Wednesday, partly cloudy skies, more sunshine further east, and look at the temperatures coming back up pretty quickly. 50s for many locations into Thursday. Here's this system, some showers and higher elevation snow Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, Thursday night. Out ahead of that though, Lewistown at 67, 67 also in Jordan. That's pretty warm for November. And then Friday, it's a blustery day, but really not that cold. 50s to about 60 degrees. Seven day forecast for Helena. 46 tomorrow up into the 50s, maybe a few showers on Thursday, a couple of mountain snow showers Saturday, and yes, Saturday night we fall back. I really don't like that. I do like the extra hour of sleep, but uh, don't like it getting dark that much earlier in Fort Great Falls. The wind will start to pick up on Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, and it will be slightly cooler as we get into Sunday and Monday of next week.